Okay, here is a tutorial. We're going to be building a compass app with the concepts being used of GPS orientation, placement on the canvas, and an image sprite. So let's open up our compass app specifications. This is a fun application to build, and uh, kids tend to like this quite a bit. So we're going to create an app that's going to use GPS, an orientation sensor, a canvas, and an image sprite that will hold this picture of a blue arrow in it and we do need to think abstractly about placement on a user interface because users have different size devices so a cell phone might have a screen size that's not as large as that of a tablet and we need to make sure that the the labels and the image sprite line up appropriately for whatever device this application is ran on so coming down here we're going to set up our user interface we're going to get a canvas with its width and height, we're going to fill that, uh, fill parent, and let's begin doing that right now. So I need to start up a new project, my project, new start new project. I'm going to name this Compass App 3. Okay, so going back to the specifications, we're going to need to put a canvas in there and an image sprite. This is where we will get the download for that blue arrow. So let's make sure we have that. Right click, save image as. We'll put it in my pictures. I may have that already, so I'm good to go. I'm going to come out of that there. Uh, I'm going to bounce over to coding for a little bit, and if you need to refer to these instructions, uh, these are off the website, so right here in Compass App, you'll have those. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab a canvas out of the uh, drawing and animation drawer, put that in there. And it did say we want to make the height and width fill parent. So that is going to happen now. Um, now we're going to put an image sprite inside there, and this should have a picture of that blue arrow. So we're going to upload that file. Okay, and we need to have a couple labels at the top. So I'd like to do a layout here, a horizontal arrangement at the top. I'm going to make its width fill parent and its height automatic. And I'm going to grab a couple of labels and put those in there. And um, I always like to pair mine up a little bit so that I get a, at least a little feedback as to what the numbers represent. So I'm going to do these in pairs. So it will report out, it will say orientation, and then it will have orientation values. And it'll say location with location values. I find that's a little bit easier for the user. So this first one is going to be my orientation label. And my next one is going to be my orientation counter. And I'm going to rename this one to say orientation. Or not rename it, just change the text. And this one here is not going to have any value at now because I'm going to put a zero just to hold the place value. And I'm going to do the same thing here for my location labels. So I'm going to drag in two more here. So this one I'm going to rename it to be my location label. And I'm going to have it read location. And the other one is just going to be a counter. This is an important one, location counter. So that's the one I will manipulate, and I'm going to have it starting off at zero. Okay, continuing along with our specifications, let's make sure that we have everything on our screen one set up appropriately, as we see here. So going into my screen one, here are the properties of that. We do want our left to horizontal alignment, our top, horizontal alignment we have it say uh, close screen animation is default open screen animation is default screen orientation is here this one has changed we want to put this to portrait so that is something we'll want to do and we also want to make sure that it is not scrollable so this is off too so that we don't move our screen up and down by using a scrollable feature okay so those are set up 
Uh, okay, the basic idea for an application, this application, is that that image sprite, the blue arrow, is going to point north, which we would like to have be the top of our screen, and then animate as it turn around using the device's azimuth. Uh, the orientation label is going to report back to the user in uh, terms of degrees, 0 to 360, where 0 and 360 represent north, 90 is east, 180 is south, and 270 is west. The device will also report out the location's latitude and longitude. So we're going to do that, um, but we want to make sure that we take into consideration various sizes, user, inter user interfaces. So um, we have well, uh, our canvas here, and it does have properties of canvas width and canvas height. Now our origin is going to be in the top left-hand corner. You may have seen a graphing system that has like um, four quadrants, and uh, this is a little different. It has the ori origin being in the top left where... If the x value increases, it moves it to the left, and if the y value increases, it will go down. Um, the orientation sensor, we'll need to pull that in there. We need an orientation sensor, and it has three, it does measure in three dimensions. So we have our azimuth, our pitch, and our roll. So let's go in and grab an orientation sensor. That is a non-visible component, and it will pop up down at the bottom. And we also need to get a, it does say here, though, that uh, we will need to make a slight adjustment into the, the label because it doesn't want to point straight up. It does want to point off to the side. So we will get to that for right here. So it says, uh, basically, we need to add 90 to our azimuth so that our compass arrow heading will point up, straight up. Otherwise, it's going to point off, I believe, to the left. So then we also need an orientation sensor so we're going to grab that as well we have a orientation sensor and a location sensor so we need both of those orientation and location okay so let's begin coding this up our orientation sensor will look like this all right over here orientation sensor when it has changed we need to set our uh, orientation counter text to get the azimuth from our orientation sensor. And then we need to adjust our compass arrow, which is this image sprite. We're going to have its heading right here. We're going to set its heading to the azimuth plus 90. Okay, now for our location sensor, the coding, we can open up our location sensor, and we're going to do this when the event that it, the location changes. We need to update our location counter label, we update its text to read out uh, latitude in terms of north and longitude in terms of west. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this this uh, out of the text box here we have this uh, ability to join or concatenate and we're going to need to put together four pieces here uh, join latitude with north longitude with west and let's see how that looks here so we need to add more slots so this little settings wheel will let us do that you select that and you can add in more strings here okay then we can now add in get latitude and that is going to report out the north value and we can now get longitude and that'll report out the west value great um, let's take a look at our location sensor in a little bit greater detail under the properties here we have it set at 60,000 um, that means that it's going to go off every minute. Now, I'm not a very patient person, so if I'm waiting for my GPS to reevaluate its position every minute, I might have missed something along the way. If I'm driving, and a minute is a long time on the road. So I would like to um, probably make that a little less so that I get a chance to test it. Now, if I do make that timer interval, like say, for instance, 
one thousand or one second, it's going to be going off a lot. It will be handy for the user. However, it will not be that efficient and it will cause the battery to get drained. So you need to think about a compromise there or some sort of an adaptation. All right, now we're going to be placing in um, some labels here. We need to have enhancement of the UI. So we want to put that north at the, the top there and see how that looks. So that is going to be in your canvas. We have a draw text feature in our canvas. Canvas.drawText. And this is going to happen, I believe, when this, the, it happens when we initialize our screen. So when we turn our screen on, our screener is initialized at the very beginning. We need to make sure that our labels are there for the user to see. So when our screen one is initialized, we're going to put a an N north at the top of the screen. Now, thinking abstractly so that users can have the same experience, um, we want to make sure that that north is up here at the very middle top. And if I were to hard code in, like the example here said, maybe 150 pixels on the X axis and 20 pixels down, that might work here. This might be a 300 pixel window and it might find that that N is perfect there. However, the use of a cell phone, that user interface is nowhere near the same size as a tablet possibly. And so hard coding those pixels will place those exactly where you tell them to. So that X coordinate will be 150 pixels to the right of the top left corner. So it will be 150 pixels from the origin. And again, if your, if your user interface is larger, then that would be inappropriate. So what we want to do is use the built-ins. We have a canvas width, and I can get half of that. Half of the width of that canvas is the same on every device because the canvas is filling its parent, which is the entire user interface. So I can get half the width, and I can also get half the height if I wanted to as well. So let's think about that. Canvas width divided by 2. We're going to place that north halfway across the top, 20 pixels down. That's a pretty good... Um, thought process. So we need to go in here, we need to get our canvas width. And we want to divide it by 2. And that'll be where our X coordinate goes and we're going to hard code 20 down from the top. So most most user interfaces 20 pixels from the top should be just fine. Okay, let's uh let's run this and see what it looks like. I'm going to connect my AI companion here. So I have my AI Companion, I'm going to select that, and I'm going, nope, I don't want that. Um, maybe I need to reset my connection. Okay, so I scan QR code. I'm going to go in now to my application and link it up. There we go. Okay, now I am seeing that my north is in its appropriate location. My orientation is picking something up. Now my GPS is not going to pick that up while I'm inside. I don't have direct line of sight to satellite, so that's not going to work at this point in time. Um, now my north is where it needs to be, but my compass is definitely not where I want that to be. So I need to think in abstract terms about where I want to place my compass as well. So I'm going to go back in here, and um, I can adjust where my compass lays. I have here, you can see that this image sprite does have X and Y coordinates. Now again, hard coding these is not going to work on a variety of different user interfaces. So I'm going to do some code here that's going to help me. I can go into my image sprite and I can have it have a starting position. So image sprite, 
I'm going to have it move to a certain XY location when my screen turns on. So my screen's initialized, I'm going to have that uh, move to a certain place. Now, I'm going to be thinking abstractly in terms of this. I want to take my uh, little blue arrow, my compass arrow, which I want in the very center. I want it to be half the width of the screen on my x-axis minus half the width of the sprite. So I take into consideration that the sprite has some width to it as well. And then I'm going to do that as well vertically using the y-axis and the height feature. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to be doing a lot of math here. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to grab a minus block, and I'm going to need also to get a division block. And I'm going to probably duplicate that in a few of these. Okay, so it's going to kind of look like this. So I'm going to have my canvas width. Divide that by 2. So it's half the width across. And I also need to take into consideration that the image sprite has some width as well. So I need to get its width as well and divide it by 2. So it's half the width over. And now this is going to be my X location, but I can duplicate this and I can do it pretty quick for both my Y and my X. So, okay, so my X is dealing, the X coordinate is dealing with the width and I need to adjust my Y's to, to make them work with the height aspect. So now then, let's refresh my companion and go back in there and see, now you can see that my arrow is now Pretty much dead center so that's a good good thing to do so every device that i use it on it will be in the center right underneath that n feature so that is your talk to me app and no i'm sorry that's not talk to me app. that is the compass app that we have been working on sorry about that uh, that's your compass app right here and we have design for shareability and we have been using abstractions, so hope that helps. It was a lot of fun.